Hello, lovely developers, and welcome to Mastering Dagger 2 course from Master Coding Channel and the Complete Android Developer course on Udemy. In this video, we will start implementing the Dagger 2 and learn how to use it. So, how to use a Dagger 2, how to master it, we'll see in this course. So, welcome again. We have learned in the previous videos how to make the clean architecture of the, any app by decoupling the networking UI logic, the UI logic, and the services UI logic from the main activities. Now, we, we need a framework to do the dependency injections. This Dagger 2 will make this uh, concept, uh, but how to use it and when to use it and why we are using it. Let's take an example to see how things will work. Suggest that there is a person here and he need to make a coffee. So in order to make a coffee, in order this person make a coffee, we have many choices. The first one, is going to the farm and getting the plant, the coffee plant, and go to get the beans and go to the river to get some water. So beans from the farm and water from the river. And he can do this uh, by making, uh, by mixing them and making coffee. But in this case, he is depending on himself by depending on the uh, on the, the coffee, he depends on himself and depends on the coffee get it from the plant and from the water from the river. But it is this not good idea and it's not a good way because every time he need to make coffee, he need to go to the farm to get uh, the plant, the coffee plant, and every time he need to make coffee, he need also to go to the river to get some water. The second choice is going to get the beans from the supermarket and get the water bottle from supermarket. And whenever he want to make a, a coffee, he can do it by making uh, the, by mixing the coffee beans by co uh, making a coffee a coffee beans and a water uh, mixing together. But he, in this case can make any time uh, the coffee. So the beans and the water are already given to him by purchasing them from supermarket. The third way is going to the coffee shop. So he is not responsible for getting the beans or mixing water or uh, with beans or anything. He just order the coffee and he need the coffee from the coffee shop. So. Why this is uh, why this example? Uh, if you see in the previous courses, I love making real uh, real uh, life examples in order to make the idea uh, more and more simple. So the first one, the first way, is getting the water from the river and getting the beans from the plants inside the farm. It's it's called no dependency injection. It's not depending on anything. He is depending only on himself to go to the water, uh, to the river and get the plants. So he is not depending, he's not using anything, any no pre-made things. He just go to get the river and get uh, the water, go to the farm and get the coffee plant. In the second case, he is depending on the beans, on the factory that create the beans in the in the box in boxes and depending on the water factory is making bottles water bottles so this is called manual dependency injection so the third one it is automated dependency injection he is not responsible for anything for not for not making the coffee not getting the beans not getting the water he is just ordering so in this case these three cases are the three different ways for making the coffee.
But you will ask me what this example uh, will benefit us in the coding. So let's go to Android Studio and try to implement these three types in order to see the importance of using Dagger and dependency injection. I have created a farm here and a river class. So the farm will contain the coffee beans and getting a string, a, a method that returns a string called get coffee beans and a river containing the water. And you can make a, a, a water uh, class, but for simplicity, I'm making a string called water. And to get the water, we need to get uh, using the getters. So a class called farm, get coffee beans and a river class called get water. So if I go to the class called coffee, I have created here in order to prepare the coffee, the coffee cup, I need to uh, inside the getter getters. I need to create an instance of the farm, an instance from the river and the coffee cup equals to farm dot get coffee beans. So the user or the, the person go to the farm and get the coffee beans and go to the and he goes to the river and get the water in order to prepare the coffee cup and this will return the coffee cup but this method is not good it's not good at all why if we want to change the type of the coffee there is no way to change it being if, if only if we need to create a new cup so every time we change the coffee type we need to change the coffee cup so this will make a big trouble also we are using the new keyword so you see guys here uh, making the new uh, keyword so every time we are making a coffee cup we are making an instance from the farm and if, uh, and instance of the river so new keyword means coupling so we have two problems by using this method it is the coupling and the testing so we cannot test if the if the uh, coffee cup is good or not also if uh, uh, there is a hypothesis that maybe the cup the coffee cup is not good and uh, can we know from the plant or from the river uh, water of the river it is the problem we cannot and know what where is the source of the problem so we have the testing and the coupling problems in order to solve that we will use a thing called inversion of control so what is inversion of control inversion of control is a programming principle it inverts the flow of control as compared to traditional control flow. In inversion of control, custom written portions of a computer program receives the flow of control from a generic framework. I know you didn't understand anything, but let's go to, back to Android Studio and see what is inversion of control and how to use it in our example. In order to use inversion of control and transform your code from, re, uh, from making uh, every time the new instances of form and river, we will remove this and we will pass the parameters as form here and form and river, river. Okay, so now we can change the type of the the plant from the farm and we can change also the the river and the water of the river so this type this method allows us to know if the if the cup coffee ta cup it is defective or not uh, not good we can know it the, uh, the problem is from the coffee plant of the farm or from the water so this testability this will allow us to testability and also for making uh, for making uh, in, in the 
not making the every time the new uh, river and new farm new instances so this is called the boilerplate so guys the solution here comes the inversion of control but and it's all for uh, for us the testing so we can detect any defective and coupling we can change any type of coffee or water but the problem is making the boiler plate so what is boiler plate the boilerplate is mean that means uh, that every time we are making uh, the same code and we are go uh, going to write the same code by making new farm, new river, new coffee. So if I I go, I need to make the coffee cup. I need to make here in the main activity. I need to make a coffee cup, an instance of coffee cup. I need to start by making a farm instance farm okay equal to new farm and i need to make a river instance a river a river equal to new river and i need now to create the coffee so coffee coffee equal new coffee now i can make coffee dot get coffee cup farm and i will pass farm and i will pass the river so guys every time i need to make a coffee cup i need to make this boiler plate every time i need to start by making an instance of the farm an instance from the river an instance from the coffee in order to pass them to the uh, method as parameters in order to create the coffee cup so this is called boilerplate so what is the solution for this problem we will go to the third method that we uh, we have seen in the presentation and which is the auto dependency injection or automated dependency injection so and here we go to the coffee so in order to create the coffee uh, inside the coffee shop we the coffee shop depends or the coffee cup depends on the water that it is received from the river and the beans that it is received from the coffee plant but these are not your responsibility as a customer to know where there is the source of the water and where is the source of the uh, beans so this is a dependencies a cyclic graph so you see guys that every time uh, uh, any coffee shop needs to study the sources of the water and study the sources of the beans so inside in order to create and produce a coffee cup inside the coffee shop we need uh, we the coffee shop uh, owner need to study where is uh, what is the source of the water what is the source of the net be uh, net uh, uh, are the beans of coffee so let's go to android studio and see how this means what as this means so despite using this code the auto automated uh, dependency injection means coffee cup or coffee shop we need to create a coffee shop coffee shop equal to new coffee shop coffee shop and coffee shop dot get coffee cup so in this simple way we will start start learning these codes we are not uh, we didn't uh, create any of these uh, classes but we are going to use the dagger framework to create and these and make our codes more and more simple so these will be creating using uh, dagger 2 uh, guys there is one thing a single thing and very important thing that dagger is responsible for a graph de dependencies a cyclic graph back to the presentation here this is called graph dependencies a cyclic graph and in English 
we uh, uh, we it is, uh, we make the abbreviation dependencies for d a for a cyclic and g for graph this is the three words uh, three uh, letters of dag and we added the dagger uh, referring to it is the one direction uh, graph and dagger dependency injection it is making them as automated so this is the dagger and welcome to the dagger core so this is the functionality of the dagger and in next videos we are going to go deep and deep inside dagger